In this video, you'll learn how to determine the equation that models a word problem. To translate a word problem to an algebraic equation, you first need to define variables. Let's take a look at the first problem. Mia sells small pumpkins for $1.50 each and apple baskets for $5.50 each at her fall farm market. If she makes $1,125 in revenue this fall, what equation models Mia's revenue? Remember, first define the variables. The number of pumpkins and the number of apple baskets sold is unknown. So let X represent the number of pumpkins sold. And let Y represent the number of apple baskets sold. Now, let's write an equation. This word problem represents a revenue function. Mia's revenue is a sum of two amounts, revenue from pumpkins sold plus revenue from apple baskets sold. So the total revenue is equal to the amount made from selling the pumpkins, which is the number of pumpkins times the price per pumpkin, plus the amount made from selling the apple baskets, which is the number of apple baskets times the price per basket. This equation models Mia's revenue. Let's take a look at the next problem. Mikal's pay-as-you-go cell phone company charges 16 cents per minute for calls and 10 cents per text message. If Mikal's cell phone costs for one month is $196.80, what equation models Mikkel's total monthly cell phone cost? Define the variables. Let x represent the number of minutes. Let y represent the number of text messages. Write the equation. This word problem represents a cost function. The cost of Mikkel's cell phone bill is a sum. Cost of minutes used plus cost of text messages used. The cost of the minutes for the month is the cost per minute times the number of minutes. The cost of the text messages is the cost per text message times the number of text messages. The sum of these amounts is equal to the total cost for the month. This equation models Mikkel's total monthly cell phone cost. Now you know more about how to write an equation with two variables to model a word problem. Thanks for watching.